Hi guys and welcome back to Irony Completed. So, filming again really really quickly because I wanted to get my monthly favourites up for you guys as quickly as possible, especially because I feel like everything's happening really quickly. This month is going by so fast, last month went by so fast, everything's happening really fast. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of terrified, but uh, yeah, let's talk about things that I like in this month. Yes. First things first, I actually have a lot of skincare favourites at the moment because recently I decided to treat myself to some, not new skincare, but like some skincare that I'd liked in the past. The first thing is something that I've mentioned in a favourites video before, it's a repeat, but I also mentioned it in my empties video because I used it up not long after I got to university and I was really sad, so I decided to buy the Codely Grape Water again. This is the 500, no. This is the 200ml bottle, which is the biggest size they do. I bought two bottles of this for £20, which there was an offer on Feel Unique, because usually each bottle of this is £15, but they had two for 20 so it makes it £10 each. Yeah, I thought it was a really great deal. I love this, it's like my favourite toner water, and I love using it in the morning. I still love my Botanics toner water as well. I use that more at night, because it's like um, calming on my skin, but this one I really like because it's refreshing and hydrating, and it's just a really great way to wake your skin up in the morning after you cleanse. Speaking of cleansing, I have a new favourite cleansing product, and I mentioned that I bought like a number seven kit of samples that they had for Christmas, and I bought a kit and I had like samples of the whole Beautiful Skin range that they do, which is the uh, moisturizers that I use are all Beautiful Skin, my night cream and my day cream. They're both Beautiful Skin by number seven, in case you were wondering. And they also had a sample of the Beautiful Skin Cleansing Lotion for Normal to Dry Skin. And I used it up really quickly. I was using it like every day, twice a day, and I love it. Basically, you kind of like pump it out. I don't actually like the pump on this. I wish it wasn't a pump because it's just not very good. But uh, you pump it out onto your hands, you massage it into your skin just like any other cleansing lotion or cream or butter and you wipe it off with a cotton pad. That's what I do. You can use a wet cotton pad but I think a dry one works just as well and that's how I cleanse my skin. Uh, I, I use this in the morning sometimes. I still use my Botanics Micellar Water in the morning. I kind of alternate between these two depending on whether my skin feels like oily or dry in the morning because sometimes I do wake up feeling quite oily. Not oily but like with oil on my skin because I put a shit ton of hydrating products on my skin, especially during the winter. So I still do use my micellar water because I feel like that gets rid of the oil better. But if I wake up and my skin is feeling really dry, this is what I've been using. I've also been really liking this as a second cleanse. I don't think it's a great makeup remover, but I like using this as a second cleanse after I use my Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish, which I am still obsessed with. I'm on my third bottle of that now. So I kind of, you know, do my Lizelle cleanse and polish, wipe that off with a damp muslin cloth, and then I put this on. You can't put it in your eyes, but I put it on all over my skin, massage my face, and then wipe it off with a cotton pad, like I said. And it just gets rid of the excess makeup, and it's an extra hydration, and I really like it as a second cleanse. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. This is £9 for this giant-ass bottle, so I think that's pretty good value for money, in my opinion. I love this. And the final skincare item that I want to include in this video is... The Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I was treating myself to some skincare stuff on Feel Unique and they had a kit that had the uh, Ultra Repair Cream and their oatmeal mask in it for £10 and I'm obsessed with this. I've been putting it on like my elbows and my knees because it's so hydrating but I also like putting it not all over my face necessarily but in certain areas of my face like I really get dry around my nose and in between my eyebrows for some reason and I kind of put it there on top of my moisturiser if I'm not using an oil because sometimes I use an oil for that. Uh, lately I've been using this though and I think it's really good. It is like a moussey texture, it's like a moussey foamy texture almost and it's basically you can use it all over your body or your face and it's uh, developed for eczema or super dry skin and I have super dry skin so I really really love it. It smells really nice as well and it melts into the skin really really lovely like it doesn't absorb as quickly as other moisturizers it's definitely not like a daytime moisturizer in my opinion but it does just absorb into the skin really nice leave you feeling very hydrated and soft and I absolutely adore it. It smells so good. I can't put my finger on what the smell is, but it smells really good. A fragrance favourite this month is something that I hauled in my last haul video from London, and it is this solid perfume from Lush. This is the Dirty Perfume. It is my favourite fragrance line, like the soap and the shower gel and stuff from Lush. 
and I decided to treat myself to the fragrance and I got the solid version because I thought I could pop it in my purse, carry it around. I really like the solid tins. I don't feel like they last as long on my skin as regular perfume, but the handy thing is obviously you can just put this in your handbag and take it with you. It would fit in your pocket. I put some of this on this morning and I can still smell it on my skin and it's afternoon now. So yeah, I really like it. It is a beautiful fragrance. It smells exactly like the shower gel and I like putting it on the ends of my hair so that people can smell it in my hair, you know, because when you wash your hair the first day it smells like the shampoo and the conditioner that you used but the second day it doesn't smell like that as much and then I think that adding in the fragrance to your hair is really nice so that's mostly what I've been using this for but I also just like put it on my neck and my wrists and I just think it smells really good I also think this is a really good unisex fragrance so yeah I think it's awesome and these little tins are like six quid but I feel like they last you a really long time Two makeup brush favourites that I also hold in my London haul are these Eco Tools brushes, and I've used these every single day since I bought them. Um, I like using this angled uh, end of this little double-ended brush to do like a powder winged eyeliner with eyeshadow, um, and I like this flat kind of fluffy brush uh, for packing on eyeshadow or for just like sweeping it really lightly all over the lid which is what I did today using a product that I'll mention in a second and I also love this other one that I bought that came in a two pack and they're both double ended uh, I love this like pencil brush kind of like small crease brush style brush for like smudging out the lower lash line or really packing colour in the outer V and I love smudger brushes they're like my favourite thing ever because I love putting emphasis on the lower lash line and this one's really really good because it's very very dense so it really packs the colour on nicely. I feel like these are pretty good inexpensive brush options if you guys are looking for a basic starter eye set, this is a good way to go. I'm not even done with things that I bought while I was in London, I'm not even kidding. Uh, this Kiko eyeshadow I mentioned, I'm wearing it today just really, really lightly all over the lids. You can pack it on and it's as intense as it looks in the pan which is this amazing orange colour, but I've just got it swept really, really lightly over my lids today, and I feel like if you sweep it lightly, it's a really, like, subtle, autumnal, orangey, leafy, like, leaves on the trees kind of look, and I really like it. This is the colour 218 in their watercolour eyeshadow, or wet and dry eyeshadow. I can't remember. Well, the colour range in this is amazing, and the pigmentation is insane. If you want to pack it on as bright as it is, you literally just need to use one swipe of your finger, and it will be as intense as it looks in the pan. Can you see? Like, is that not amazing? It's amazing. I'm obsessed with this and I'm gonna buy some more colours next time I get to a Kiko store. Speaking of Kiko, uh, this next product is what I'm wearing on my lips right now and it is a Kiko Milano Ultra Glossy Stylo Lipstick, I think this is called. It's like the sheer glossy formula. And this is in the shade 813, so it's what I'm wearing now. It's just a really nice sheer purple, which I feel like is really appropriate for kind of like daytime in the fall when you don't want to go like full on burgundy lips but you want something that's still kind of like mauvey and purpley and pretty well I feel like this is a really good wearable option it's a pinky based purple so I feel like pinky based purples are the most flattering uh, they don't make your teeth look super super yellow or anything like the like lavendery colours do and I just feel like this is a really wearable yet still autumnal colour but I also do feel like it could be worn all year round and I said in the video that I think this is a dupe for Sheer Lady Flower by Urban Decay but it is not an exact dupe but they are very very similar if you wear them both lightly so yeah this is a really great option and I really like the formula of these they smell really really good and they are very very hydrating as well because they're so sheer and moisturizing and the last thing that I bought while I was in London that is in my November favourites video is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm wearing this mascara today but I'm only wearing one coat so it looks pretty natural but I feel like you can really build this mascara up to look like you're wearing false eyelashes and I love mascaras that do that for me. I'm not really particularly a fussy person with mascaras, most mascaras do work for me um, so it's really not hard to please me with mascaras but this one definitely did impress me and I do just love how the packaging looks, it feels really like high end and luxe because it's like pink and like actual metal, it's quite heavy. I don't know whether I can say that I love this more than my uh, Benefit They're Real because I did say in my Holy Grail products video that Benefit They're Real is my Holy Grail high end mascara and I think it still is but this one is definitely a close second, I really like it but at the same time it is quite different of a brush and a formula uh, from Benefit They're Real. I would definitely recommend you guys checking this out if you can, I think that it's a awesome, awesome mascara and I'm very, very impressed. Sticking with the eyes, another favourite that I also mentioned in my Holy Grail products video is this Revolution palette. It is the Redemption Palette Essential Mattes 2 and it is entirely 100% matte as the 
name would suggest. It's got all these lovely colours. I won't hark on about this too much because like I said I did mention it in my Hilla Girl products video. But I just feel like it's a really lovely everyday palette that's got every matte shade that you need. It's got some cool tone greys and charcoals. And it's got some lovely warm browns and some pinky tones and then all these lovely like lid and highlight colours. And I feel like obviously you can mix this up and use it with single eyeshadows which is what I did today. I'm wearing these colours smoked through my crease. Some of the darker browns smoked through my crease with the orange eyeshadow. And I just feel like this is like pretty much almost every matte colour that you'd ever need. Maybe you need a matte black and like a matte burgundy. But there is some awesome colours in this and I feel like there's three versions of the Iconic Matte Palette. So if you don't like this one then check out the other ones because they have some different undertones and some different mixes of colours. But I do feel like this is awesome. And very very affordable as well. I have two more lip favourites. This is a Rimmel Oh My Gloss lip gloss and this is again something that I mentioned in my favourite products of all time video uh, but again something that I discovered really recently I've not really been a fan of glosses from the drugstore that much I love my Urban Decay High Colour Revolution glosses and I was kind of stuck on those uh, but I decided to try these because Glam Life Guru did a review video quite a while ago now about them I saw them in the drugstore and I was kind of like oh yeah like Tarty thinks those are good I should try those so I got the colour Snog which is just a really nice kind of like pinky nude colour with not really like glitter in it, it's kind of shimmery though, but it doesn't come across that way on the lips. And it's just a really lovely, creamy, long lasting, pigmented lip gloss is there. The colour is super flattering, you can wear it over a lip gloss, it's sheer enough to kind of layer, but also it's pigmented enough to wear on its own if you don't want as intense of a lip look. And I love wearing it with Dervish Lip Liner by MAC. Like filling in my lips with Dervish and then, is it Dervish? I think it's Dervish. And then uh, using this. It doesn't really have a smell that I can distinguish, which I quite like. And the formula is very creamy. They're not quite as pigmented as the Urban Decay ones that I like, but they are just as like creamy and hydrating and probably just as long lasting as well. Glosses aren't the most long lasting of products generally, but this is a very, very good gloss. And something that isn't really a favourite, but I've been liking layering this with that particular colour of the Rimmel Oh My Gloss. Uh, I love layering Oh My Gloss over really bright lipsticks. So for instance, this is a insanely bright Barbie pink by Elamasca called Luster. I can't wear this colour on its own. For me, it's just too, too Barbie pink. But what I really like doing, I'm not sure if it's going to turn up the same way on my hand, but I like putting the Ilona Masca Bright Pink and then toning it down just a little bit with Snog by the by Rimmel. So you still get this really lovely pink colour but it's a little bit more mauve -y. it's a little bit more muted and I just think it's a really really good lip gloss to tone down those brighter pinks in your collection because sometimes those colours aren't the most wearable. So this lipstick on its own, Luster by Masca, not necessarily a favourite but this combo is definitely a win and one of my favourites and something that I've been grabbing for when I go for a bold lip on a night out. Something a little bit random has been this little pin that I got from uh, a charity. I can't remember the charity, but I bought it when I went to go see Mockingjay Part 2. And it's a Mockingjay pin. It's not shaped like a Mockingjay pin, though it's shaped like a heart. And I've been wearing this a lot. I just think it's really lovely, and the money goes to children's charities. So if you go see Mockingjay, or if you're in a supermarket or a cinema, and you see these little pins for sale, they're only £2. And I just think they're so, so lovely, and that you should definitely grab one, because it just looks really, really cute. I love brooches and badges and I just think this is a really nice affordable option and the money goes to charity. A clothing item that I've been loving is a Christmas jumper because now that it is December I've been wearing this a lot but I was also wearing this through November. When you're at uni and you go home like way before Christmas even starts you put the Christmas tree up like mid-November and like get the Christmas songs out mid-November. So I bought this Charlie Brown Peanuts uh, Christmas sweater last year and it says happy holidays and it's got the peanuts fam on it and it's just so so adorable and i just think it's a really lovely cozy jumper and it's really big and oversized on me so i like wearing it <laughs> with like um leggings i wear it to the gym quite a lot like just over my gym clothes and it's so comfy and so beautiful and i love it so much and another thing that I uh, have been loving this month but I forgot to bring upstairs and I can't be asked to go downstairs and get it is a pair of Chelsea boots that I bought from H&M so I'll insert like a clip 
or a picture or something here and like talk over it. Uh, they're just like red Chelsea boots. They kind of look like Doc Martens, which, which is why I bought them. But they're only £30. And let me tell you, first of all, they were a bitch to break in. They were like a bitch to break in. They gave me such bad blisters, but they are so, so comfortable now. And now and they have like a sturdy sole so I feel quite tall when I wear them and I just think that Chelsea boots in that like kind of like burgundy red or black colour just look so so good and classic with everything you could possibly want to wear. So that is it for my favourites video this month. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know down in the comments some of the things that you've been loving in the month of November. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram they'll all be linked down in the description along with everything that I'm wearing and what's on my face right now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a great December. See you next time. Bye.